hello all welcome back this is chaitra and today i am going to show very easy very rich protein breakfast recipe that is foxtail millet with multi grains dosa very simple to make and very tasty as well as healthy also it is diabetic friendly dosa and you can use this batter for making idli as well this dosa is very helpful in weight loss journey and also this is very crispy and very tasty dosa so come on let's go to the recipe since this dosa is not a instant one i am preparing batter for that i am taking a bowl in that i am taking 2 cups of foxtail millets see this this is a foxtail millet and very helpful in diabetic this is also rich in fiber contents and i am taking a cup of moong dal and a cup of urad dal and a cup of toar dal and i am taking 2 cups of whole green gram or whole green moong dal so this is very helpful in making dosa to get a dosa texture very nicely so i'm taking 2 cups of green gram after that i'm just adding the water and washing it two or three times now i'm rinsed everything well now i'm adding enough water to soak this for about 6 to 8 hours or overnight you can soak it if you are making dosa for breakfast you can just soak these all things in the night in between i'm just taking a cup of poha in separate bowl because the soaking time for the greens as well as the poha is different so i'm taking poha in a separate bowl and soaking it overnight after that in the morning everything is soaked very well and everything became very soft now i am adding poha as well as the multi grains and millets mixture in a mixer jar and grinding everything smoothly just like a dosa or idli batter in this batter you can make idli as well it will come very soft and very tasty also now i am just adding all the mixtures into the mixer jar and i'm putting just little bit of water just to adjust the consistency i'm closing the lid of the mixer jar and grinding it to a very smooth fine paste just like this see how nice it is it is very fine and smooth paste of dosa batter adding these batter to a big bowl after that i'm just grinding everything well and making a batter like this i'm adding everything to this bowl Now the dosa batter is ready and I'm adjusting the consistency by adding water how much water you want you can add it later I'm mixing it very well see the consistency now I'm adding Himalayan pink salt it is very good for health so if you want to add normal salt you can use that also but I'm adding this Himalayan pink salt it is very good for health Now the dosa batter is ready to make. If you have more time, you can leave this for fermentation. Otherwise, directly you can make the dosa in a pan. I'm just taking a spoon of oil and greasing like this through the coconut shell. Coconut jute material will be there, right? In that, I'm just greasing the tawa like this. After that, I'm pouring the dosa batter and doing dosas like normal dosa. If you want thin dosa, you can spread it very thinly, or if you want thick dosa, you can do thick dosa also. I just added a spoon of normal oil to this dosa. If you want, you can add butter or ghee or anything to this dosa. If you want dosa to be more crispy, then you have to keep the flame in the low. Then you will be getting more crispier dosa like this. If you are keeping high or medium, you will be getting some soft dosa. See the texture and color of the dosa. This has come very nicely and very tasty also and very healthy as well. That is more important. Now the foxtail millet and multi grain dosa is ready. I'm just serving this dosa with onion and tomato chutney and with some good dates. It is very good for breakfast. See the color and texture of the dosa. Very crispy dosa has come and very tasty also. 
please do try this recipe and comment your opinion on that if you like this recipe please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe and support me well i'll come up with a new video and new healthy recipe let's meet there until then take care bye bye and thank you so much for watching this video